So I believe by now it's very clear that even though the Sussexes, that is Harry and Meghan, are not working members of the royal family, they are basically the only ones who actually do real work. And you can't compare that with any other member of that family. These others just go on engagements to shake hands and cut ribbons, but there's actually no impact of whatever they do. Or even if they start a project, it's very rare for you to see it coming to light or just flourishing the same way as Harry and Meghan's do. And I believe this is the reason why the Sussexes are very well known all over the world. And this is also the reason why they're being invited to countries because people want their influence and people can see the work that they are doing. So Jeremy Vine had this segment where he was asking his viewers whom they think should replace um, King Charles as the next king or queen of England. That is while ignoring the line of succession. So they had a poll up for Harry and Meghan, William and Kate, um, Princess Anne and Prince George. And I want you to listen to this um, section because it's very interesting. Sultana in London, hello. Hello. Who would you vote for if, if it was a public vote, Sultana? I think you've got to vote for who's going to do most for the country and for the people. So, George. So what I can see is that Harry has got the Invictus game. Yes. Meghan has done a lot of work for charity. Yes. They seem to be serving the people. Wow. So I think, you know, William and, and Kate, they go to a few football matches here and there. Wimbledon, things like that. Mm. Look pretty, look. But they're not doing anything for the country. And so I think you need to see who will actually benefit the country more. Okay. I'm, I mean, this has thrown me slightly. Kate, Kate is unwell and Harry has fled, has fled the country. So we, I mean, I don't, what, are they, what are Harry and Meghan doing for the UK? Just help me understand. Okay, so Invictus. Harry is from the Invictus before. As Narinda, who I follow on Twitter and I love, has said that they fled for reasons of racism, for the media, the hounding... And it's quite clear that William Dorinda. didn't really like didn't really like Meghan because well, Meghan has done a lot. Reason. Sorry, Sultana. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, got, sorry. Go, go. But I think Meghan's done a lot. She was doing a lot for the victims no, of Grenfell. Listen, one and, more vote for Harry and Meghan, and and there's a good possibility it could be them. And in London, quickly, which one would you go for? Absolutely, William and Kate. And All right. Big mouth is in there. But <laughs> uh, English. Okay. Bye. Who's English. Oh, she's gone. So I think I think maybe she was, was the American dimension. I don't know. Oh, Harry's English. But that's a proper way you just shout into the phone, hang up, and then we go to the <laughs> and ads. Can I just say to her, quickly, William and Kate are the laziest royals. Okay, so two, two, none. I'm sorry, George, but he's young. The last part definitely got me choking because these people who support William and Kate definitely don't have anything else to say about these two except that they are English and they speak English. And this actually uh, goes further to show us the reason why these people hate Harry and Meghan because Meghan is not um, British, right? And even though Prince Harry is British, they don't like him because he got married to an American woman, right? Anyway, I loved Sultana's response. Everything she said was just perfect. She nailed it. Well, this is something that is definitely not going to happen, right? But I believe that Princess Anne's vote is firm. She seems like someone who actually steps up unlike the other working members of that family. And everything that Sultana said about Harry and Meghan is completely true. They are the, one, uh, they are the ones who actually make a change, unlike William and Kate. They're doing so much, not only in the US, but also they're still helping out in the UK. Remember that Prince Harry's charities, some of them are still in the UK, such as the Well Child. And also, Meghan is still very involved in helping people in the UK. She also has some charities that she's still supporting. And let's not forget the Invictus Games. 
These people know very well how of a huge impact the Invictus Games has been on people's lives. So you can't really ignore that. And I believe that is like the biggest project of the all um of any member of that family in the UK. None of the others have anything as big as the Invictus Games. So you can't just rule out all of that. And I also loved when she called out William and Kat for their laziness. <laughs> well, I believe this is something that everyone can see. William and Kat are so lazy. In fact, William's name is Lazy Willie and Kat's nickname that she was given by the late queen was Duchess Doolittle because she does almost nothing. What is it that Kat has done even uh, since the beginning of this year? We are now in August, but I haven't seen her do anything. And you can't just be using cancer as a form of excuse every time to to deflect from the from the real issues. The thing is, these two never work and they don't like to work. But what they would do uh, wholeheartedly is go on vacations and then leak stories about Harry and Meghan. Otherwise, when it comes to real work, they won't do that. And when she says that William and Kate go on engagements to look pretty instead of working, I was just like, bingo, that's it. What are these two known for except for taking pictures? That is the only thing that you can actually say William and Kate do. But other things, no. And you can clearly see that when Sultana mentions Harry and Meghan, Jeremy Vine seems really bitter. It seems like he didn't like that option at all. So why did he bother putting up the Sussexes if he didn't want them getting any vote? And you can see how he deflects right away by saying that it's Prince George, right? I mean, what has George done? He's just a kid. So Jeremy Vine knew very well that Sultana was definitely going to mention Harry and Meghan because when she said, uh, I'm definitely going to go for people who have, uh, have had a very huge impact, he knew straight away it was Harry and Meghan, but he was just trying to deflect by using George's name. And you can also hear that Jeremy Vine says that that threw him off slightly and then goes ahead to defend Kate saying that it's because she's sick. Well, what about Prince William? Why can't he work? What is he doing? So really, there's no excuse for these people and what they do. The thing is, they're just lazy and that is why they're not capable of working. And... What is it with these people saying that Harry fled the UK? Harry did not flee the UK. In fact, it's the UK media that made him leave that country together with his wife and his kids. It's not like he just woke up one day and was like, today I'm leaving the UK. No, it didn't happen like that. It was uh, because of a series of events um, fueled by the UK media that is of smearing the Sussexes. And that led to them leaving that country, including people like Jeremy Vine. They took part in this smear campaign. So they should stop pretending as though Harry just woke up one day and decided to leave the country. And trust me, all these people know very well that Harry and Meghan are the ones who have influence. They are the ones who, ha who are hardworking and they are the ones whose projects are very successful. You won't see that in any other member of that family. I'm also thinking maybe Jeremy Vine added Harry and Meghan up there to see if anyone would not pick them so that they can have something to boast about. But at the same time, if people did choose them, then why would he try to shut them down? All these people are weirdos, right? And you can see how he quickly shut um, down Sultana, which is such a shame. She was making valid points and I believe majority of us agree with her. And the last comment definitely just blew my mind. The only thing they have to say about William and Kate is that they're English. That is the only thing they can use to defend them. Not even that they're doing this and this. They are, they've impacted people's lives. There's nothing like that when it comes to William and Kate. 
so yeah that is just what i wanted to share with you for today you can kindly leave your comments down below on what you think about these and i'll see you all next time have a wonderful and amazing amazing time bye